to be steady on his feet and to get through this tough time. Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. Ricky had struck by that punch. And bang, and away he goes. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. Now he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. One, two, three, four, five. Patton's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? He's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Each man able to land an uppercut. Bradley's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster, sooner. Hatton's in that position that nobody likes to be in, seeing your own blood and knowing you've been cut. Look at his mouth. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. There's a good example of Tim Bradley's jab setting things up. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. Took a shot, Ricky Hatton stunned, and he, what a big shot. Will Ricky Hatton be able to even get up here? Not the first time he's been down tonight. One, two, three, four. Look at this. Tim Bradley's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. By way of